Hey, you know, conflict is inevitable, right? It doesn't matter how loving you are. In fact, my favorite verse in all of scripture on conflict, Romans 12 verse 18 says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, try to live at peace with everyone. Have you ever seen a verse that has more qualifiers <laughs> in it than that single verse? Even scripture's acknowledging we're gonna have conflict. Yeah, conflict is real life, but what we need to understand is how can we navigate conflict in a way that doesn't damage our yeah, relationship? One of the most important ingredients is a cooperative spirit. When we look yes. at what goes into a good fight, because there's a big difference between a good fight and a bad fight, right? Yes. A good fight brings us closer together. In fact, we often say conflict is the price we pay for deeper intimacy. Right. So a good fight versus a bad fight, you have to have a cooperative spirit, which means we're on the same team here. Yeah, because if you try to win in a fight with your spouse, your marriage is what loses, not, not your spouse. Right. So you want to be cooperative. In fact, one of the best metaphors I've ever had for us, and we'll call it up whenever yeah. we're in a fight, after watching loads of soccer games on that field, I'll try to picture the two of us on the same team out on that field. We have a problem. It's like we're kicking that soccer ball back and forth between us, trying the to solve. The soccer sol ball is the problem, yeah, right? Exactly. Not you or not me, No, but the and problem. we're not on opposing teams. Yeah. We're trying to score together by finding resolution, and that's we're making a goal. Right, and that's what keeps us on the same team, a cooperative right. spirit essential to fighting a good fight. Thank you.